you're really cashing in on the savings. KPIX 5's Julie Watts joins us live outside Best Buy in San Jose with what you need to know before you pull out your wallet. Julie, we need your help. Okay, well, Michelle, there's one number you have to remember, and that is 37. And I'm going to get back to that in one second. But first, I want to show you the scene here. This is the Best Buy in Almaden, San Jose. Um, and there are a handful of campers out here. They're all hoping to score those best deals. But I'm sure they want to know, is it really a deal? Remember I said 37? Well, 37% is what you're looking for. That is the discount that you're looking for. That's according to the folks at Wallet Hub. So they say that's the overall average discount on Black Friday deals this year. It's down from about 40% over the past couple of years, meaning deals aren't quite as good. So before you whip out that credit card, Wallet Hub says you may want to Google the item, see what it normally sells for other places, and then confirm that you are saving at least 30 37%. If you're going through your cart while you're in line, kind of go through all of the markdowns. If there's anything less than 37% off, you might be better off waiting up until Christmas night to get that. Now, that's a good note. The best deals pretty much on anything come at the last minute. So if the items are still left over, you want to wait right until right before Christmas, you could get a pretty good deal. So where can you find the best deals today and on Black Friday? Well, Wallet Hub analyzed 10,000 deals, and they say Kohl's and JCPenney are offering the biggest discounts this year, on average 66% less than what they would have normally cost. Sears is discounting on average 50%, Macy's 46 And Wallet Hub says that actually Bass Pro Shops are offering the lowest average discount this year, uh, only 21%. Now, overall, the survey found that Black Friday discounts are generally highest on clothing, accessories, and electronics. And there are some great deals advertised for TVs, both at Best Buy and on Amazon, other places online. But CNET warns this year, buyer beware. Cheap Black Friday TVs may not be a good deal. They cite things like too few HDMI connections and subpar resolution. So before you think you're scoring on on a big screen TV this Black Friday. You want to make sure you check out the specs and make sure it has everything that you're really looking for in a TV. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk about how to decide whether to just stay home and shop on Amazon or head out and brave the crowds. I'll tell you uh, what you need to know about that coming up in just a bit, Michelle. Okay, I can't wait for